Hi everyone, this is your Lekala Master Ruha Ragupal. In this video, I am going to discuss a problem from South African Mathematics Olympiad which was given few years ago. And the beauty behind this problem is, uh, this problem was built on a ninth standard concept which is from geometry. Such a simple concept to understand and so beautifully the problem was built. Even the solution also you can enjoy like anything why? because the entire solution was based on the only one concept what I am going to discuss now. So before introducing the question, let me explain what was that concept from ninth class. So just as a familiar to everyone, very simple to understand. For example, take a triangle ABC like this. We know how to calculate the area of triangle like half into base into height. So we know very well the whatever we can see this BC will consider as base. If you draw any altitude that will be considered as height. So half into H into BC something you can calculate area. Suppose from this vertex to the midpoint of BC if you join let us suppose D. AD if you join we know that AD is considered as median. So on joining median the entire base will be divided into two equal halves. Meanwhile the entire triangle also will be divided into two different triangles and already you have learned that these two triangles need not to be congruent always but definitely areas of these two triangles are going to be equal why because for these two triangles height is common altitude or common height and the bases are equal why because d is the midpoint so simple step or simple statement we have learned is in every triangle median divides it in two equal areas always need not to be congruent but definitely areas will be equal this we have learnt in ninth class triangle chapter right so now the question whatever i'm going to discuss now is completely built on this one even the solution also completely based on or with the help of only this point that is the amazing thing behind this problem so without wasting time let me explain what was the question actually and later on we'll go for the solution a b c was a triangle whose area is 10 square units. Apart from that, no other numerical information was given to us. Now here, what was given apart from that one? The side BC is extended to a point T such that BC is equals to CD. What does it mean? C is going to be the midpoint of entire BD. Now similarly, CA side is also extended to a point E such that CA is equals to AE. What does it mean? A is going to be the midpoint of entire CE. And side AB is also extended to a point F such that AB is equals to BF. Obviously, B is the midpoint of entire AF. Now, finally, they joined all the three points D, E, F and they are asking what is the area of entire triangle D, E, F. This was the question actually and as I said this was solved with the help of only the concept whatever we discussed here. So now without wasting time let me come for the solution here. What I am doing as a first construction. So I am joining point A to point D. Let me join now. Now clearly you can see the triangle A, B, D in which C is the midpoint of entire B, D as we discussed. Obviously, AC is going to be the median of triangle ABD, right? So, as we discussed, median divides every triangle into two equal areas. Already one area you can see as a 10 square units. Definitely, area of triangle ACD is also going to be 10 square units for us. Is it very clear? I think so. So, now, just for our convenience, let me rotate the diagram something like this as D appears at the top. So, what you can see, D C E in the triangle D C E clearly can I say D A is median already we got this area is 10 and we discussed median divides every triangle into two equal areas definitely this triangle is also going to be 10 square units area only so it is very clear so with the help of only one concept only we are finding all the triangles here now as we joined A D we got two different triangles area over now coming back to another small construction here. So as we joined AD, now let me join BE here. Now just for our convenience, let me rotate the diagram again. Clearly you can see ABC area 10. So in which BA is median, right? So now in the this triangle as we got ABC area is 10. 
the other triangle area is also going to be 10 for us so clearly you can understand with the help of same concept again we got this one and not only that one have a look at triangle AEF where you can see AEF observe carefully AEF in this AEF EB is going to be median again so obviously the remaining part area is also going to be 10 for us so with the help of two constructions we got four dark triangles areas as equal to 10 square units right now the final construction what I'm going to take I'm joining here I joined A to D and B to E and let me join C to F C F I'm joining so on joining C F clearly you see A C F in this A C F B is the midpoint AF so now let me rotate the diagram clearly you can see CB as median so in which ABC triangle area is 10 square units definitely other triangle area also going to be 10 square units for us so I think without explanation you can understand how the remaining triangle area is going to be 10 square units my dear children on the whole whatever the triangle we got all those triangles areas are equal to the original triangle area which is 10 square units so overall you can say the entire area of def is equals to 70 square units so children you have to understand the beautiness behind this problem based on a simple and single concept the entire problem was built how elegantly the problem how elegantly the solution can be taken that you have to understand that is the beauty behind the olympiad geometry problems especially so hope you enjoyed this problem we'll meet in the next video with other content until then take care bye bye you are like kalmastaru haragopal